Uh, hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Uh, yeah, a little bit later today uh, than expected, but listen, it's all good. We're here. We're here. We made it. Okay. And so I want to go ahead and it looked like there's a bit more light back there than necessary. So let me go ahead and take care of that. Thank you for your patience. I was not expecting the sun to come out. So, <laughs> all right, there we go. Uh, yeah, that way I don't, I try not to have distraction behind us. And so no virtual background today. Let those notifications go out. And so while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and that's right. We're going to go ahead and do our usual check as y'all come on in. It is it's Friday, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is Friday. All right, so I know that, um, again, I know some of y'all are waiting on me to get to your comments and things, and I will get to those. Thank you for your patience on that as well. Okay, because, yeah, I'm going to tell you that uh, I'm checking things now. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. That's right. We're not missing out on anything. That's for sure. <laughs> all right, you all. So I will get to those mm -hmm, throughout the evening. That's right. That is the plan. All right, you all. I want to get to all y'all comments, emails, everything. We finally, over the last few days, God has had me doing some stocking. And what I mean by that is just on supplies that we know we're going to need anyway right and so i'm going to clarify the difference for you all between narcissism overdoing okay that yeah, that part of narcissism overdoing okay not thinking and the enemy tricks a lot of people into doing that the overdoing yeah buy one get one you're not really saving that okay so there you go hey yeah and coach dicky okay <laughs> Yes, happy Friday. Welcome, everybody. And so, okay. All right. We got that check. We're good. Um, we will get these formalities out of the way here in just a moment. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and, and clarify. I'm going to give you all the difference. Yes, no trespassing allowed in the kingdom of God. This is that shirt. Remember, the kingdom of God is what? The mind. Right? What are we doing? Purging that subconscious. No trespassing allowed up in there. Okay. <laughs> all right, you all, seriously. And uh, I'm going to clarify the difference between when you're stocking up. And I'll give you all uh, an example because, uh, you, listen, because there's things that God has on my list that we want to get to. We were unable to over the last few days because we wanted to make sure that while all that crazy making, you know, how it goes for the last minute shoppers and things like that. We didn't want to be anywhere near any of that. Because I'm going to tell you, today, Friday, December 22nd, 2023, the madhouse out there. And I'm going to tell you why. Last night, December 21st, 2023, around 9.45 p.m., I'm turning in. Smoke detector goes off over the next couple hours or so going off to disrupt everybody's sleep it's a high pitch frequency causes aha nice on the wi-fi right there okay yeah around 9 45 p.m eastern time december 21st 2023 that sucker nobody was cooking right mm -mm. So it starts feeding that high frequency because that particular frequency is associated with the soprano range of vocals when you think about it. So what happens is that high pitch causes tension. It causes muscles to tense up. All right, so I'm going to leave that there because we are still exploring that. And more, more about all of this is on the Patreon channel, you all, because this is some, some stuff. I just turned it into a case study. Did it affect me? No. Because I'm aware of it. See, that's why I want y'all to understand the importance of heightened awareness. What the enemy pulls out here. Now, do you, oh, are you wondering if the people who installed the, the stuff, do they know that? Uh-uh. They're just doing what they're told to install it. 
It's the manufacturer who was told to program those things for certain times of the year. Because this is what? Yeah, our pagan tradition season. So it wants people to go out there, consume, buy, obey, right? Causes a lot of them to overdo on impulse buying because their sleep got disrupted. Yeah. And 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 they probably like we all used to at one time started complaining about it. I often ask today, the Heavenly Father, I wonder last night how many people went outside at that sound. It's like the fire drill that went down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get up to check. I didn't care. I laid back down and I kept my ears closed. It's that simple. Okay? So that way, right. And so that's why it was a madhouse because they were sleep deprived. Their muscle automatically tensed up. They're not aware of it, y'all. Remember. Yeah, the autonomic nervous system. It responds to certain things. Remember, it has been conditioned. More about that on the Patreon channel. And we are uncovering more and more about that personally as we recover from. Uh-huh. That's right. That Jezebel case study. Okay. Because we are in ice pack season. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and everybody said, let's get these formalities out of the way. It's been seven minutes on in, and I just got to do this for the algorithm. Thank you all for understanding. And that way you all know, okay? <laughs> I am Michelle Dickey, your host for CHA's Let's Just Chat show streaming on the YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center. That's right. Trauma healing and spiritual growth occur with God's wisdom, basic scientific facts, <laughs> tried and true techniques, and more here and at chaacademybtbw.com. The link to the academy is in the description below. Some of y'all may need to copy and paste the link to view what chaacademybtbw.com offers to help you level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth. All right, and so... Yeah, so as I was talking about, um, it was it was a madhouse out there. But still, we navigated through it, got around it. You know, God guiding our steps, sticking to our list. We were doing our normal thing anyhow. All right, just getting stuff so that we can hunger down. All right. And so the example I have for you all that's not overdoing when God says, okay. So I got, at one place, I got a thing of strawberries because I do make my fruit smoothie, right? Well, God also, yes, yeah, see, for my blood type diet, I finally found an, one of the approved cheeses at a specialty store. And so when I tasted it, I said, you know what? Blueberry or strawberry jam, grape jam, jelly or whatever would be absolutely fantastic with that as a snack. And so God said, okay, yeah, he said, I like that idea. You know, of course it came from him. And so I get to the other store. The price was not, I really don't, I don't get sticker shop. Okay. Like that. Not easily. Now there are some things that can do it, but briefly, because we have the abundant mindset, not the scarcity mindset. So we just go, whoa, because we weren't expecting, you know what I'm saying? That much of a change. You knew it was going to be a change, but not quite that much. <laughs> <laughs> but we get over it. Like God said, hey, it's all good. Got to get acclimated to some new things. That's all. Which means get adjusted to, accustomed to, get used to, adapt. Okay? So I was like, well, I got that one container, and I know I'm going to use it for some smoothies and stuff. And God said, at the other place, because they're fresh. They're looking pretty decent. And I was like, you know what? He said, go ahead and get another one because you're going to make some jam. I said, that's right. So it's going to get used up and plus to snack on. Why not? So there you go. All right. And uh, so I had, and that's just not overdoing. I'm like, I said, get a couple of containers because you're going to do several different things with those strawberries. Oh, got it. Okay. 
So that is being intentional with shopping, going by the list, going, okay, this is what we're going to do and what we're going to make with this, 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 and this. Because I have to think about space as well. Some of y'all do too. Okay. We always got to consider space, storage, where you're going to put this stuff. And so I was like, okay, um, my little basket over there where I keep my sweet potatoes and squash, acorn squash, spaghetti squash. Uh, the Lord said, um, I got something picked out for you that's going to work better because it's a little rectangle. I needed something round. <laughs> So it's on the way. And um, just to know that, you know, uh, he had to get some things to restock the freezer, uh, you know, and that kind of stuff so that we can continue to make our smoothies and our juices going forward. And so he wanted to make sure we had everything that we need because it gets used up fairly quickly. And so while it may appear to others that it would look like we were overdoing no so if they've got that demon of assumption they have no idea that a lot of this stuff is getting ready to get used up pretty daggone quick so there's the difference when you're dealing with narcissism and overdoing okay that's where the lack of intentional shopping comes in now, there are many narcissists who do make grocery lists, okay, but they won't think about, and we didn't until God revealed it to us too, so for whoever needs this, it's all part of losing the scarcity mindset to develop the abundant mindset, and abundant doesn't mean buy one, get two, wait, buy, what is it, buy two, get one free, or buy two, get one half off, or whatever, that's not abundant. A lot of those are scams. But it's also a trick of the enemy to get people to overdo. Again, discernment. If you've got like three kids and, and listen, okay? <laughs> you got to use your discernment. But what we're talking about specifically is with narcissism. Okay, that game of narcissism. It tricks a lot of people into overdoing. After all, what do these narcissists do? They overdo with the love bombing. That's why when we learn about it, we're able to catch on to it a lot quicker. But they'll overdo with it. You know, over the top, right? Over exaggerating. Mm -hmm. Saccharine sweet, right? Like, oh my goodness, I just love your hair. Who does that? A narcissist. <laughs> So, trying to think of a rever, reverential term for you. Oh, <laughs> minister. I am a mentor. I'm a consultant, coach, trauma specialist, minister. So, you know, you're fine. You can call me Michelle. That's fine. <laughs> it's all good. And, uh, yes, sleep deprivation is definitely, it's definitely part of the game of narcissism. Yes. So buying the same thing each time rather than actually putting thought into what we need at the particular time. There's a good way to differentiate. Okay. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. So yeah, buying the same thing each time rather than actually putting thought into what we need. There you go. Being intentional while we shop. Right. So we don't overdo. Now, again, if you know that you're going to use toilet paper and then and <laughs> you, you've got space for a large pack of toilet paper, fine. That's not overdoing. That's stocking. There's a huge difference. Because I'm here to tell you, we had to learn this too. Uh, and God revealed it to me. That's why when I go now shopping, God told me, he said, I want you to stay focused on the things you know you're going to eat, the things you know you're going to use, and, yeah, not be buying all willy-nilly anymore. Because we used to do a little bit of that. Oh, yeah, with the scarcity mindset, absolutely, we used to do that. And so now with the abundant mindset and being more intentional, 
that's right, being more intentional with what we do and what we get out there, knowing, okay, we're going to make this superfood green soup, right, or green superfood soup juice. We're going to make our own V8. We're going to make our own almond chips. We're going to make our own, I mean, you know what I'm saying? When we do a lot of our own all-natural cooking, oh, my goodness. Let me tell y'all, you you would not, okay, you know what? I'm just going to give it to you like this. There's a place I went to, and I got almost everything that I needed, and then some as far as the meat, okay? So I have almost a whole month worth of meat, right? Well, good. Now, God did say, if you see yourself running a little bit low on, let's say, some ground beef, you know you're going to eat that. Go ahead and get some. You know, uh, it's just kind of a matter of not letting it get so empty. <laughs> because it would look like we overdoing, but we're not. Here's what we do. We bought the family pack. This is not overdoing. This is stocking. This is abundance. Family pack of chicken drumsticks. All right, that gives me roughly nine meals. Separate them out in baggies and freeze them, right? Simple concept. And so the same thing with the ground turkey. A little pound of it divided into three, one third, one third, one third, in a baggie, freeze it. Okay, same thing with some chicken wing. I didn't get the family pack of that, the small one, fine. So that gives me about four meals. So that's thinking abundantly. Remember, Jesus said, I came. Remember? Yes. John 10, 10. He tells us that the enemy, right? Yes. That the uh, the devil, right? Our enemy, he, he, he does nothing but set out to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came so that we can live and live more abundantly. And it takes thought. It takes Working out that salvation. And I know this is common sense for some of y'all, you know, or many of y'all. If common sense, you would think, okay, well, that makes sense. I know there are narcissists who do this as well. But I'm talking about the kind of mindset that we have. They do that because they've got a fear of running out. It's all in the way that we think. Okay? The narcissist will do the that same thing, you know, dividing out. Right? Because they've got that fear of running out and never having enough. Okay? Chosen ones. When we develop that abundant mindset, as we're dividing it out, we're like, okay, that's one, two, three, four meals for me. All right. And again, I'm just giving y'all that for an example. Okay? It's going to depend on how many people you're trying to feed. When it's just us, you know, then it's well, pretty simple. Okay, but if you're feeding multiple people in the household, you got to use your own discernment and your own, you know, your whatever it is you do, what works for you. And so I'm just sharing the differences because it's all in how we think about it. Whereas the narcissist, they have that fear of running out, so they're going to overdo. So for them, that's an overdoing thing. For us, it's like, hmm, abundance. Because we know it's going to stretch out and it's going to last. And so we won't have to go out as often. I'm going to share with y'all a real story. Real story right here. I watched as the female was approaching her demise. And the male, out of fear, acting on impulse, not knowing really what to do. And basically, he was going to the grocery store several times a week, stocking up on a bunch of stuff. And at one point, I was wondering, with all that food clutter, I was like, how much of that's going to go bad before they even get to it? And then I was also, not negative, asking him, like, hello, because he kept just, yeah, like stocking up all kinds of food and everything, acting on impulse, out of fear, trying to fill the inner void. Right? Because he's afraid of losing that supply. Okay? He's afraid of losing that supply. But at the same time, already had other supply lined up, which happens to be one of her siblings. 
So I was like, okay, this is working out well for them. And then get mad at himself when one of the loaves of bread that he overdid. See, that's overdoing right there. Big time. One of the loaves started to mold before I even got to it. See, I told him, like, hmm. And so he was sitting there looking at it, shaking his head as if the bread did something wrong. I watched it all unfold, and I kept wondering if there was going to be any space on that little island counter left to do any meal prep at all, because that's how cluttered it was getting. Because they were overdoing, overbuying on a bunch of food. Because that one that on her way to turning dust wasn't eating that much at all. And then a lot of that stuff I couldn't touch anyhow. I was like, I couldn't help him out with any of that stuff because it went against my blood type diet. I was like, well, nothing I can do about that. But then it didn't take long afterwards that you had to start finding people to offload some of that food to. That's the way it goes. So... And then learning to check. That's right. There you go. Learning to check to see what we already have before buying. That's the, that's it right there, too. Chosen ones, we got to learn how to do that. Yeah. We got to learn how to do that. And so I'll share with you all exactly what I do. Because I have a list. And when I, I start the list, let's say I have made another batch of my green superfood soup slash juice, right? Let's say I've done that and I have used up the entire bag of spinach, which I typically do. And I'm like, okay. And I know the next time I make that batch, I'm going to want to go ahead and put that on the list. Doesn't mean I got to run out and get it that day. No, because Typically what happens is by the time I'm ready to make another batch, I still have a broccoli, zucchinis, and celery, and other vegetables minus the spinach. Okay, so I can leave the spinach out of this batch. And so now I'm using up what? The broccoli, maybe the celery now. Okay, now we'll put those on the list. And then we don't need to go and get that stuff until we are about a couple of serving of that superfood left in that container but we use up especially when it comes to produce and fruit we use up what we have already and modify so for those of you who are patiently awaiting uh the menu i want to go ahead and uh, plant this seed for everybody uh on the patreon channel okay we are including in the mission with consulting for height awareness we are pushing back against radio frequency poisoning we cannot escape it, okay? It is all around us. We are exposed to it, but there are things we can do to mitigate. Meaning, there are some beneficial things we can do so we can live healthier lives. That's right, to live our best life, all right? That's what God wants for his chosen one. And so I'm going to share with you all. That, um, yeah, uh, all the things that we're working on for you is to help you with that. It's to combat radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. So that's the theme for what we are going to be adding. Well, it's already done. It's just in the making, okay? God said I'd go ahead and let y'all know about that. That that's what's coming for you as well. And so we'll put it together. We are working on it. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to how I want to put the pictures, you know, uh, of, of some of the stuff. And so it's going to start out with just a basic menu. And you'll read uh, in that booklet, if you will, you'll read that you, okay, to get started on making some dietary changes, okay, because you want to go ahead and start doing that. If you are not on the blood type diet, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. And you can modify and fine tune those menu items to suit what you already have on hand and then what's available. 
in your area. So let's face it, some of these items are not necessarily available in all areas. So like you're in the UK, Chris. So there might be some items that you see listed on the menu that you are not able to get easily, if you will. Okay, vegetable wise, what have you. But you know of something that can be a good substitute. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. These are going to serve simply as a foundation to get started. Okay. And I know some of y'all already have gotten started. So congratulations. Be more mindful what it is we're, we're putting into our bodies. This is the temple for the Holy Spirit. So I want to lead the way. All right. It's not just me. It's Godhead and I. God first. Okay. But he's got us leading the way to, um, yeah, push, push back against that. Combating. Okay. So that's the theme for all of this combating radio frequency poisoning for healthier living because we can do that remember the healthier we eat the faster we heal and that includes healing from trauma that includes it so i just want to give you all that information which you have to look forward to and that's going to become available on the patreon channel i will make the announcement you'll know okay because it's uh it's just it's important it really is it's, it's important not only to us but overall because what are we about right helping y'all overcome this trauma so you can live your best life well what's part of that well how are you gonna live your best life if it's not at least healthier right yeah so we're pushing back oh i know i know the M whatever i don't care <laughs> all right because there's ways for us to mitigate meaning reduce the potential negative effects of radio frequency poisoning basically being electrocuted <laughs> all right so yeah that includes we stop using battery operated grooming tool to the best of our ability, God narrowed it down to just one little thing that will do what we need every once in a while, and that's that. Oh, and real quick, he revealed to me that titanium, yes, titanium, uh, it responds to, right, the metal molecules on the inside, it responds to the alto vocal range. Because what I was all about walk this morning, remember those staples that were, I know, we got, we stand corrected. Okay, you might hear in some previous live stream replays that uh, I was told there weren't any. But when they fell out and I got it, I picked it up and I saw, aha, uh -huh, I saw the greenish blue at the top. And I said, yep, there's staples in there. Because you know how metal gives off that kind of tarnish, right, sometimes? Okay. So, that being said, as I was on the walk this morning, there was a car that honked. Of course, they do that to each other out here. <laughs> when they're in a hurry, <clears throat> or they're probably trying to get somebody's attention to say hi or whatever. Who, who knows? It don't matter. But I'm on my walk, and it was like in mid-range, right? It was in the alto range. See, I'm an alto, okay, when I sing. So, yeah. Uh, you've got tenor, alto, soprano, right? And then within each one of those vocal ranges, that's just a good analogy. You have um, different levels, right? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, right? You have different, it's kind of like the you know piano, right? Going up the scale. There you go. All right, so within that alto range was the horn. And I felt the ping back here, and I went, oh, Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. That's what I'm saying. God is revealing some things on a very intimate level. And I know that I'm not the only one out here who has done the research and stuff like that and uh, is experimenting or what have you. But uh, having it on this level, being this intimate, knowing that, okay, I am overcoming some of the, from that last environment and from the case study that got closed, okay, so I am recovering from a lot of that as we continue to burn fat, right? And keep ice on things so we shrink those suckers so they get into circulation and get out, right? Okay. 
Um, and so we're paying attention though, too. And so it let me know. And I was like, okay, so how come you know that? Okay. Because I remember using the thing and then at the titanium staples, right. And I remember the whole side trying to go back to sleep. And I said, like, hold up a second. That's a low vibration, right? Titanium. It reacts to the tenor range or bass for those who know about music, right? New, you know, guitar, bass, and treble clef, all of that. Okay, so there you go. Because treble clef is usually your alto and sopranos and tenors. Your bass is a very, very low tone. Bass clef, clef if you will. That's a whole different, that, that matches the low rumble of the earth, the low vibration. So anyhow, I just want to give you all that food for thought. All right. And so we're going to dive more into all of that as God reveal more on the Patreon channel about that, because we are combating again, we are combating radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. Also at Consulting for Heightened Awareness. So for anyone who would like to join us merely for that, you're welcome. Come on into this growing community of spiritual warriors for Christ, because you're going to learn how to do that too. At Consulting for Heightened Awareness. CHA, because it's around us. And so God is revealing how, okay, by learning how to do our own homemade stuff, our own meals, our own everything, all natural, to the best of our ability, okay? And so when I, again, when I give you all that information, you can do with it what you need based on what is available to you. And then, of course, you may not, okay, for example, if I have an, a menu item that says Brussels sprout, you may not like Brussels sprout, but you like cabbage. That's fine to swap it out. You know, we're just giving you a foundation. We're giving you a guide. There you go. We're going to give you a guide, something to help you get organized with it. Kind of go, okay, and, and test things out, right, to find what works for you, okay? And then, all right, question, is it more cost-effective to buy larger bulk than smaller amounts? That depends, okay? Because you don't want to overdo, right? That's part of narcissism, of the overdoing, okay? So you want to uh, just really assessing want versus needs, right? And then also based on how many people are in the house, right? So you have to kind of keep that in mind. And then... For me, because it is just me, all right, in the physical, that one large pack of toilet paper is probably going to last me for a good bit, okay? Because I already know what the smaller pack, how long it lasts, you know, almost a whole month. So getting the slightly larger pack is going to go a little further. And, of course, there's some dependencies on that as well, <laughs> okay? So... Same thing with, with paper towels. So buying in bulk that way can be more cost effective because you know you're going to use it over time. And so you won't have to buy it as often when it's just one person. And then also, if you've got a family of four or five or more and you're buying in bulk, let's say you end up in a situation where you got to buy two of the large packs of toilet paper because you've got kids. That's that's not overdoing. That's thinking, okay, you know what? Because they're kids, you know, right? Okay. So that is cost effective. So you're not going out and buying toilet paper every other day. So it really depends on the items. Now, a good example for me is that if I want to go, let's say they have almonds, right? Raw almonds. And they've got a, what they call a BOGO, buy one, get one. Okay, but that one bag is going to get me several snap mixes plus make my own almond butter. So why do I need two bags right now? I don't. So it really, it's all based on your needs versus the wants, again. 
So using that line of thinking like, well, okay, hold on a second. Because we have to overcome a lot of the bad habits that we picked up on ourselves before God awakened us. Because we used to do that. Oh, BOGO, cool. And then the other box of cereal went stale before we could even get to it, right? For some of us. So we love, <laughs> I'm just keeping it real with y'all. So now that we understand better in God's reality and we continue to learn how that matrix operates with that kind of stuff, and a lot of it lies, okay? What well, truth mix with lies, y'all out there, right? Okay, so they might tell you buy one, get one, but are you really getting a deal? Hmm. We question everything in God's reality. So buying in bulk versus smaller amounts really depends on what it is. How quickly are you going to get to using it so you don't waste, right? And then what are you using it for? There you go. I mean, you just have to think. You have to use. <laughs> you have to use this. Uh, this head for more than a hat rack, right? Okay. So there you go. Um, overstocking, yeah, it depends on the food. You know, uh, it really does. It, it really, truly depends. And then, right, uh, it's like broccoli and salad items. Um, well, I will tell you this. Yeah, they don't last too long but they do last longer in an environment that's not filled with extra radio frequency going on see inside this place sure you've got the refrigerator that creaks and moans <laughs> got the microwave i use period you know frequently I hate it my soups and stuff and then the convection oven right that used to cook as well but i also got the stove top right okay these devices the pc webcam led lights okay the ipad sits over there for when i need to use it got the printer the air conditioner but it gets turned off while we're streaming and filming you know doing the videos and you know really as far as oh and the dishwasher i'm just trying to think and then the blender when i run it no smoothie maker when i run it so really it's very minimal there's no television i've got a boom box but i use that to convert my songs to mp3 okay I don't have that thing on blasting a bunch of stuff. It's been quite a while since I've listened to the radio in the car, too. Because I'm still working out things with the Heavenly Father. Doesn't mean I don't listen to music occasionally. Sure, I do. But it's just, this is a season of quiet time. Ice pack season is quiet time. <laughs> it is. All right, um, and so it, it's a lot lower in frequency on the inside, despite when that program wants to go off, okay, as part of the game of narcissism. So the stuff that I get that I use to make my green superfood, right, a lot of it's salad items. So really... Uh, yeah, I get, I've got enough for the batch of superfood, right? And then I've got some left over because I get some romaine lettuce or some green leaf lettuce, sometimes both, and go ahead and I have stuff for a salad. And so I'll eat up on that, that way. So I could tell you that going on to about a week and a half to two weeks, with not having extra frequency, not overdoing with radio frequency, things tend to last longer. I'm going to let that sink in. 
I've noticed that. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. So there's more to it with that radio frequency than we know. And we're going to uncover more of it. Absolutely. Because it's interesting. I find it interesting to know that certain frequencies actually activate certain metal molecules. I, I do. I, I find that intriguing. So, but, right. We all have that. A drawer of batteries that are still in their packaging. Yeah, we all have a drawer that's got some batteries unopened. Unopened pack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We sure do. Now, see, I bought batteries for that boom box. Cause, <laughs> but I did because I didn't even think about the fact that when I got in here and I would be able to convert. Because my line of thinking was I was going to start while I was still in the car office. I was thinking that I was going to need portable, right? So I got batteries when I got here, though. Because I still had it in my mind, right? The old way of thinking when I got the boom box, I was going to start, right? I start transferring my songs to mp3 i was gonna try and get to it in the car and it didn't work that way so i happened when i got here and i realized that i could plug it in so yeah that pack of batteries are just sitting there unopened now i'm not saying that i won't take the boom box let's say i do want to go to sit on the beach then i'll need the batteries but it you know <laughs> Okay. Yep. There you go. You got it, Chris. Substitute on the menu with similar items. Yeah, I saw the uh, I saw the Wi-Fi did that. That's right. Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem and insecurity. Remember the demon of insecurity tend to cause them to self-indulge on carbs and junk food. And not only that, think about colder weather. What we often associate with that during the fall and the winters, man seasons, right? Uh-huh. Got to pack on those calories to stay warm. No, you don't. That's another lie from the Matrix. No, you don't. No, alto, alto is not necessarily high pitched. Soprano is. That's why I'm saying that smoke detector is in the, what I would call the soprano range. I might be able to hit a couple of soprano notes here and there, but it's not inconsistent. So because that's just not, yeah, not how God made me to sing at that octave for a long period of time. Now, with my acrobats, I can do it. But for the most part, alto is like medium. There you go. Tenor is low. Alto is medium. Soprano is high. No, titanium staple for this wound. Talk about the Jezebel case study when, right, they were in there. I was told that they weren't. But they since have fell out. Yeah, they yeah they they fell out. They, the scab healed and everything's good now. They're gone because I I remember turning right as I was combing through my hair on that side. I didn't even know that they had fallen out, but I suddenly all of a sudden felt a little different. So God had me look, and I went, "What is that?" And then I saw some hair attached to it i picked it up and i just went and tossed it but then god said oh, wait a minute i'd pull it back out and look at it a little closer and that's when i saw the greenish blue residue metal well what was metal there right yeah and so that's what it was but yeah, no, huh? Not on the inside anymore, no. 
It's just the radio frequency poisoning that I was in in that last environment with all of the oxygen tanks and all the increased frequency. Yeah. Yeah, the metal molecules that got on the inside. And then after that incident, right? Mm hmm. Tightening of the bra, trying to hold those metal molecules inside those mucus pockets because I quit smoking, right? Okay. So everything the enemy was trying to do. Right. The enemy was trying to get my body to hang on to those metal molecules as long as possible, thinking that somehow I would go back to the old way of thinking and get tricked into believing his lies about, oh, I must be catching, uh, 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 that doesn't exist. I already knew before all that went down, before the enemy started attacking my hair and stuff like that, before all of that went down, I had known because of the radio frequency poisoning, mimicking all these symptoms. I've already known. But Jesus cleans everything. And what a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But that's why I remember my biological dad telling me growing up, when I would wake up as a kid, and I'll be like, oh, man, I ain't feeling dead. Like, "Uh uh-uh, he said, go take a hot shower first, and then tell me how you feel. Dang it, if that didn't work every single time. (laughs) I'm telling you. So, broccoli going off time as a litmus <laughs> litmus test as well, right? Um, and so, okay, guitar chord and tab. Okay, well, guitar chord are very similar. You have your acoustic right guitar you have your electric guitar your electric guitar can actually hit the soprano range whereas an acoustic pretty much state is uh tenor or alto range so it yeah there's some similarities there so i can actually help you with that with understanding it based on guitar stuff work on that spring cabbage okay i don't know about the iron in cabbage I'm not sure about that um you know well, Look it up. And then, right, clever the way they seem to offer you, right? It's just a way to get you to overdo in the system of narcissism. Just a way to get people to overdo and to waste money. Exactly. You talk about the air conditioner? No, that's included. That's That's included in my rent. So... Um, the brain and nervous system are bioelectrical, so radio frequency will affect the nervous system. Absolutely. For those of you who may have seen this down in the rabbit hole, where, or it's not even really in the rabbit hole, it's out there. I've seen it on TikTok and elsewhere, uh, where there's this narrative for a lot of people where, you know, we are energy, vibration, and frequency, right? E, V, F, or E, F, V, however it goes. But anyway, we are energy frequency by vibration right okay so we think about spiritual energy transfer because that is your that's right that is the emotion right spiritual energy emotion are your emotion okay that's energy right and so they're yeah and so they're gonna come at different frequencies right and that they're lower frequencies that give off what vibration Higher frequencies don't really give off as much vibration as the lower. Okay? The higher frequencies basically cause people to tense up. So the brain and nervous system are bioelectrical. Absolutely. Think about our neurotransmitters. Okay? And so we have what? Calcium, right? Yeah, uh, sodium, we have uh, the electrolyte system, right? Manganese, all of your micronutrients, things like that, right? The minerals. So there's your, there you go. And so, yeah, radio frequency definitely affects the nervous system. And the autonomic nervous system is what it affects. It can't get to the central. Because the central nervous system is protected by bone and tissue and organs. The autonomic nervous system is not. 
That's why radio frequency will affect. And for many of us, we did not even know because it's an automatic nervous system. It, it automatically responds as it has been programmed or conditioned to respond to a particular thing it will perceive as a threat. So I'm in that season right now having to tell my autonomic nervous system every time I go like this, put makeup on, I'm like, stop. This is not a threat. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> so there you go. Yes, the high pitched sound. Yeah, they're out. And yes, the ice pack season is working just fine. In fact, God had me get another one because another another spot has revealed itself. Just to share with you all, those of you who know the story of me being dragged down the steps after the Jezebel spiked my drink. Okay. Well, God revealed to me because I was like sitting here going, where did that come from? I didn't do that. We know I didn't do that. God's like, I know, honey child. But remember, I had little bruises in between my toes on the right foot. Yeah, I see the bruises that were around my ankle matched fingers, right? Being dragged. Well, what do we know about narcissists, right? They're angry. Jealous and angry. Remember, I told you, God kept my subconscious awake through all of it. God did the note taking, so God is doing the revealing. That is not being made up at all. But I'm telling you, forensically speaking, I should have had, according to her big over exaggerated holy story. When I say holy, I'm talking about I had a bunch of holes in it. Wasn't righteous at all. I should have had carpet burn in a lot of places on this body, and there was none. Being dragged down a set of carpeted stairs and I had no carpet burn. Yeah, okay, what's up? So anyway, God revealed to me because on the left knee there's a bruise that fits the pattern, yep, of the of the fist on the right hand because you got to remember she was dragging me down. My right foot was her left, so right. So each time her hand slipped because think about it as. Right, as she's trying to drag me down, bruises are forming, right? Bruises are what? Blood pulling in certain pla uh, places. So basically, I'm like, you know what they call dead weight at that point, right? She's trying to, <laughs> right. So she kept slipping. So I tried to figure out, like, how did I get bruises on the inside of my toes? How do you get that? God revealed to me because of her fingers, right? She had her fingers around the ankle, but it was slipped. And so each time she had to grip what she could, where she could. And so every time it slipped, she got mad. The right hand goes into a fist, whack, on the inside of the knee. Because I was like, where did I come from? And that's what God revealed to me. He said, well, you know how she slipped and had to keep trying to drag you down. So every time she slipped, blame me for it. Boom. Right? So we good though. God told me to get another ice pack for this one. <laughs> so we're good. And uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's forensic analysis. That's what we figure out. Stuff like that. But we know how these narcissists operate. So there you go. The rest of that story is on the Patreon channel for anyone who is interested. And yes. <laughs> AC air conditioner. All right. Some animals. Oh, that's a good point, too. When we talk about frequency, some animals can communicate over miles with low vibration sound. Absolutely. Because we are energy and vibration frequency. But I want y'all to be careful because if you come across that narrative, okay, a lot of people are tricked into associating that with messing with the chocolate fire. Don't do it. That's part of witchcraft. Yeah, with gripping really tight. Yeah, mm-hmm. And because narcissists, okay, a lot of them over time as they get older, they're physically weak. Oh yeah, they are physically weak. So 
There you go. All right, so basically, the enemy knew to try to do whatever he could to see if he could get me into some kind of pain and suffering. I'm like, nah. So what I've got to do is tell my autonomic nervous system, right? Each time when I was going on my walk this morning, I had to tell it a few times, it's just a bruise. Knock it off. Because every time what an autonomic nervous system is conditioned to do also is like every time you would step on it and you would feel a little ache, it automatically would tense up on the back side. Yes. And I was like, okay. I said, Heavenly Father, I said, I've never been like that. He said, I know, honey child. That's why you're noticing it now. Because I never had been like that before. And so now we know, oh, okay. And so it's just, it's just a bruise. Ice. And there's a slight bruise, right, on the tailbone. We figure out a way to ice that sucker, too. We, it, we, we got this. God said, we got this. Now go make some smoothies. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we don't overdo chosen one. Nope. Because God teaches us abundance. And he also teaches us how to stay within. Because we know when enough is enough. Chosen ones do, right? We've talked about that before. Is that we know when enough is enough. As far as, okay. I've got that to work with, that to work with. Okay. We've got enough. We've got just what we need. That's the thing. Chosen one learned this in God's reality is how to handle and manage just what we need. And so I don't recall where God refers to this just yet, but let's see what the Holy Spirit here it goes. Yes, you can make your phone stretch for years too. Yes, the chosen ones are not hard on their stuff. See, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Yep, a lot of people buy new tech when they don't need to. Yep. Oh, and you know why? Because what what is it inside of narcissism? Right? Always got to have the latest, greatest, right? Always got to have the newest. <gasps> Always got to have the new. Always got to have the best of the best. Always got to one up. That one upmanship is part of the narcissism game. Because I keep getting notifications and, and tech from my mobile carrier all the time. Hey! Because one of them it paid off. So they keep highlighting, hey, trade that one in for the newest. No, it's working just fine. Thank you. It's serving its purpose. So that's the thing, chosen one. We learn. But yeah, because these things can, yeah, the only thing I know about Apple is that over a period of time, like their iOS updates. So let's say the newest one might not work on an iPhone 5 or something like that. Okay. So that does happen. However, as long as the iOS system updates and the device is doing, it's serving its purpose and it's doing what it needs to do, we're good. Chosen ones, we don't run out. We're not trying to be popular. We're not trying to jump on no popularity train. That's what narcissists do. They jump on the popularity train. Oh, yeah, big time. And so I just realized I got a quarter in my pocket. <laughs> One of the stores you go to, you have to put a quarter in the shopping cart to use the shopping cart. But you get it back when you put the cart back and lock it back up. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, we know that uh, we can, things will last us. That's the thing I'm trying to tell you. Chosen ones have never been hard on their belongings. We've never been. I mean, I still got tank tops I've had for over 10 years. You see me wearing them today. I mean, not today, literally, but in, you know what I'm talking about. So that's the thing. And uh, same thing with, with our shoes. 
Now, with the exception for those of us who do walk and, and work out, we are going to go through our sneakers a bit faster, but not as fast as the world would think. Okay. Um, and then a lot of our things, unless they need to be replaced, for example, this is not overdoing. Um, I came from a field environment, right? We're cigarette smokers, right? It's the environment where I quit, finally. Yeah, it's the environment where I quit smoking. And uh, so that being said, the office thing, some of them that I had there in that office were stained with nicotine. And so that gave off a kind of dust. And so that's what we've been doing while we're in ice pack season, y'all. We've been, yeah, we've been... Uh, god has us doing okay so i had a caddy that was on a spin wheel where i kept my highlighters and my, my pen let me show you what god had me get because he said that the nicotine that on that swirly thingy he said honey child i know you like that he said but that's just that's gonna be too much i could try and run it through the dishwasher but because it had been there as long as it had been and there was some serious cigarette smoking going on in that office no not by me but uh god said it was time for me to replace and this right here worked out much better see how god had better for his chosen one right so this worked out a lot better because i was able to pull out the rest of the highlighters and then a separate thing over there for the pencils and scissors and back scratcher yeah, I got back gotcha. Of course. All right. Yeah. Didn't you know it? Absolutely. <laughs> when you're single and you live by yourself, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. And so. <laughs> hey, y'all, I got to bring some light into this. But we got we to gotta lighten the mood a little bit every once in a while. But that's not overdoing, that's just enough. See, God said, yeah, he said, that's just enough. So I don't, yeah, and, and because of what I had in the baggie, the, the, I was like, oh my goodness, I can actually pull those out. I actually have space. So I didn't realize that the caddy, I was actually smaller than what I needed in order to get my office stuff where it needs to be. Because we work from home, <laughs> right? So there you go uh, to, to give y'all a visual on how God does what he does. And so same thing with the stapler is that I noticed, uh, oh, and the letter opener that I had, I started to notice some green mm -hmm, on the metal. That's from that. It was, yeah, it was nicotine infested, right? And so I was not going to take, I said, I was not going to take a brillo pad to that or an SOS pad because that would make it rust. Well, I don't want that. So he had me get a new one. He said, yeah, so all that nicotine and things like that that got embedded into those items because they were inside that environment. He said, just replace them. God always has new things. He tells us what to replace. Not everything. There's some office things that were easy because of the material that they are that I was able to take a cloth wipe and get the nicotine and dirt and stuff off of them or dust, if you will. And so they're fine. He said, y'all have to replace those. So those are fine. They were easy enough to, to clean. It depends on the fabric. It depends on the material of the of the item as to what nicotine and cigarette smoke would affect negatively. So there you go. And we all know that it adheres to paper. So it, it's taking a while, but the, but the odor is finally leaving from my notebooks. So some of them, the ones that I have out, because they're getting to the air out. So there you go. All right, you all. And not only that, chosen one, we know that overdoing really leads to clutter, right? Yeah, it can easily. It does. And overdoing on anything, right? Remember, oh, that's it right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to find the verse, the exact verse for you all where God talks about how we don't need to do things in excess. All right, excessively. 
Remember that. We have to, that's part of repentance, is that we learn. Okay, we learn. Okay, Ephesians 5, 18. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. In other words, God's not saying that you can't have a glass of wine. He's saying, be not drunk with it, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Okay, and then also in Matthew 23, 25, let's see what Jesus says, right? Because we're told not to overdo, okay? Woe unto you, scribes and uh, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Excessive, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, wow. 1 Peter 4, verse 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentile when we walk in lavishness, lust, excess of wine, reveling, banqueting, and abominable idolatry. For the time past. See, we did some of that. Oh, sure. A lot of us did. This is why we get into repentance. Jesus redeems, right? He's our redemption. So we're forgiven. He drops all the charges. We just got to make sure we don't do it again. <laughs> okay? And then 1 Peter 4, verse 4, right after that. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. That's right. How the narcissists and the evildoers, yeah, they, they think we're strange because we stop. There you go. We stop following the crowd. We stop hanging out with them. We stop hanging with them where possible. If we're in the workplace, we learn how to go limited no contact. In other words, they don't get your empathy and they do not get your compassion. Learn to keep, yep, the talk work related where possible, as much as possible. And if we must, a little small talk like the weather or something like that, as peacekeepers. And then that same concept applies for any environment that has these toxic narcissists. Same thing in the home, right? And I will tell you that when I stopped playing the P matrix game of narcissism, that's right. Uh, yeah, it was not hard at all to keep the talk home-related, where possible, and then the small talk here and there. It was not hard. Once I stopped talking about anything going on inside the P-matrix, because it's all made up, it's all an illusion anyway, and it's narcissistic abuse on the societal level. I have nothing else to say. But we talked about it briefly here. And then I do go into detail on the Patreon channel as to why I walked away. And y'all may have heard it on this channel too, or elsewhere, that we don't do that. Like when I went and had my stuff switched over, I went back into that office and I double checked because my paperwork was saying something. I was like, oh, okay, hold up a second. Because I did not opt to register for that. Uh-uh. And so they explained it to me and said, well, if I had, I would have had to have the registration application. And since I did not, and because she told me, she was like, oh, yeah, because you would have still been here answering a bunch of questions. I was like, oh, okay, good. I was make sure that I'm not, because I'm not interested in that. So there you go. I, I was pretty, oh, yeah, I went right back in there when I saw something on my paperwork. I hold up, I got questions. Everything else is fine. But... I have a question about that. I wanted to make sure. 
Oh man, yeah. Clothes can also that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that would be it. The narcissism. Yeah, because the narcissist they gotta have the latest, greatest, right? And you know the system of narcissism. I remember y'all uh, around this time of year that it it really did surprise me. But how the uh, is a mindset gets instilled so early on that um, you know there's a particular tradition that before I knew what was up, okay, before I knew that this was a pagan thing going on, uh, used to do what's called the angel tree thing, right? And when I saw kids, many of them, the majority of them, asking for electronics, PlayStation. And I was like, what about code? Is there not something else? I mean, I, I just, in my mind, I'm not, I'm not being judgmental. I just was taken aback a little bit. But now I understand why, because it is a mindset, narcissism. So I think we're on to something, Chris, about that demonic possession occurring during personality, uh, personality development somewhere, somewhere around there. But the thing is, is that what happens with that when they get the is a mindset, well, it basically abolishes any type of personality development, right? What do we know about the narcissist? They don't have personalities of their own. Because in order to have a personality of your own, you got to have Christ. You got to know who you are in Christ. It's, yeah. Yep. Clothes. That's another good point. Latest trends can be very, oh gosh. That's why we don't jump on latest trends. That's why we're not jumping on the popularity train. Consulting for heightened awareness. Listen, we're a ministry for the underdogs. Right? Those who have been outcast. Like society rejected us. But God chose us. Okay, remember that. God chooses what the matrix rejects. Let me tell y'all something. I overcame that. Whoever needs this inspiration, you are not rejected because you are protected by God. Them uh, narcissists and sleepers and stuff inside that narcissistic matrix, leave them there. They don't know who you are. They never will. They don't know who you are. They don't know God's chosen one. Their demon spirits do, but the human host is clueless. But yes. I, yeah, the wardrobe full of clothes that we'll never wear been there. <laughs> yeah. And that's true. Yeah. I go through a lot of pens, yes. Because <laughs> I do a lot of note taking. <laughs> Absolutely. But not as quickly as you would think, you know. Uh, the green screen yesterday, you all, uh, we did. We tested out a green screen yesterday. Um, yeah, that was Thursday, the 21st of December, 2023. And we'll do that again. Absolutely. Uh, but I learned some more things about it. I had it too close. I thought it had to be like right up. And I, yeah, I went on a how-to and said that you want it to be as far back as it can possibly be from, because it's for you. But then when I saw pictures of people advertising for the green screen thing, they were actually sitting on it. So I, but it, it worked out fine. It worked out fine, as far as I can tell. So the green screen is supposed to help stabilize. That way, like, if I'm moving around, you don't see a bunch of fuzziness, right? So, because when I tried the virtual without the green screen, you would see a dark... Yeah, you you it would kind of be like a 3D thing. So the green screen helps to lessen that. Might still appear, but you know, we'll see. We're, we're, we're trying a new thing, and uh, 
That's what it's all about. Testing things out. See what works the best. And God revealed to me that the green screen will probably do best for, that's right, courses where I will be sitting down to give you the video lesson. So there you go. And still, while I'm standing up here with live stream or sitting with live stream, it just depends. It just depends. So switch it up a little bit here and there. But I, yeah, um, they did say when I was learning about videos and things like that, they said that you want to switch up your background frequently. And I'm like, why? Why not just every now and again, you know, give something different? Because I was like, those of us who are not bored easily, it doesn't really matter to us, right? It's the messaging that matters the most. So I'm like, yeah, if anybody comes over here and they get bored easily because of our background, well, that's too bad. So if they get bored easily over something like that, then that means they're a narcissist. But narcissists are the ones that get bored easily. Shows the ones don't. We don't get bored. I used to think we don't get bored easily, but really, we don't. When you think with that inner work and the self-reflection, you think about it. Yeah, we're we uh we don't get bored like that. We always find something to do. Cause I remember being told. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, I remember being told, oh, you're bored, huh? Well, let me find something for you to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chosen ones don't get bored. Because we know that plenty to keep us busy. That does not involve spending hours upon hours scrolling. We'll engage where possible, when possible, for a few minutes here and there, across social media. So those of you who are patiently awaiting some engagement on Facebook and TikTok and elsewhere, thank you for your patience. God had us regrouping some things because in a season of self-care, we are in the ice pack season. So it's like, okay, so I have to pay attention. It's all part of that heightened awareness about myself. So I can pass that information along to you all. See, that's the thing is that the enemy, the enemy wants to keep as many people. Yeah, under that impulse buying and all of that, depriving them of their sleep. Trying to get a rise out of them. And so he conjured up all kinds of ways to remember that radio frequency is used for mind control. Radio frequency poisoning. Right? But it's used for mind control. Yep, there you go. Absolutely. Yep, future courses. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, always use your imagination as a kid, and you can make a game out of anything. That's what I'm saying. Chosen one, chosen one rarely, if ever, got bored as a kid also. And so now as an adult, we don't because as an adult, we know what? We learn something. We don't need to be entertained. See, God's chosen one don't have to be babysat. That's what blows the mind of these narcissists out here. That God's chosen one don't have to be babysat. That we get somewhere, right? Let's say we start a new job. And so we pick up on the skill and we run with it. That's right. Because I remember the ex-Pleco roommate, right? When he had me join the little vacation rental home. And gave me the position of the lead cleaning lady. I was like, okay. So it showed me the ropes. Oh, okay. Not complicated. Got this. We took off and ran with it. 
See, during my master's program, I was learning about standard operating procedures, right? Well, manuals. Well, he was telling me I was going to need to train somebody. And I thought, well, you should have a standard operating procedure then. You should have a book that details out what these units should look like step by step. And so that's what I did. I took pictures after I got done cleaning them, each one, and I put together an SOP, Standard Operating Procedure Manual. His pretend mistress could not even follow it. I mean, it was step-by-step -step instruction, very simple. She couldn't even do it. That's the thing, y'all, narcissists, because they're all cluttered up here, right? Yeah, they, they, they like complicated. They got to have complicated. If it's simple, step by step, they, they can't do it because it's too simple. God is a simple God. Never forget that. God is a simple God. And so there you go. And never forget that they always want to see if they can get a rise out of us. And so we learn not to do that. We learn to not give them the reactions that they're looking for. Because they're spoiled brats, right? Why will we keep giving them what they want? That's what led to them Developing the ism mindset in the first place is everybody giving them everything they wanted, including us, giving them the reactive abuse, giving them the negative reactions that they wanted. So we stop doing that because, let's face it, society does a bang up job on its own. We don't need to help it. <laughs> okay? Society continues to coddle the toddlers in adult bodies. We certainly don't need to help. Nope. Society does not need our help with that. That's for somebody right there. Remind yourself of that. If you are struggling with breaking that trauma bond, remind yourself that society doesn't need your help, chosen one. Yeah, society does not need your help babysitting that narcissist. Mm -mm, not at all. So, there you go. It does not. Yep. The toddler and adult bodies stay entertained, right? They stay indulged and spoiled indeed. All part of the game of narcissism. Mm-hmm. So we learn. Yep. So there you go. They are going to continue to overdo where the chosen one know when enough is enough and that we don't need to overdo. Again, discernment. Okay. Now, when you are raising awareness about something, right, to get that heightened awareness, that's different. We're not overdoing it. We're full of reminders and messages and that's right. Information, God's wisdom, basic scientific facts to help y'all overcome the trauma. Let's face it. Part of the traumatization is radio frequency poisoning. Think about that for a moment. Because we know that one of the most common ways to be able to tell if someone is traumatized is through how tense they are. Tension is a trauma response. So it's a high frequency like that. Smoke alarm is designed to... The autonomic nervous system does what? Tenses up. Over years of it being conditioned to do that. And so the person's not even aware that they're tensed up like that. Yeah, they don't they won't even know it. And so being tense like that, what adds to it? Excessive salt as a stiffener. 
but keep them ten. What does that tension do? That's right, it hinders proper circulation and nutrients to get where they need to get inside the body. Never forget the enemy targets our oxygen, you all, along with other things, our nutrients and everything. But number one, our, he knows that we need oxygen, right, for many things. Uh huh. To the muscles for right expanding and contracting, right for relaxation. I have no idea. <laughs> if if y'all picked that up, I don't know if this microphone picked that buzz up or not. That was outside. I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> no idea. Crazy stuff goes on outside. And so just. Keep that in mind going forward as to why we are bringing this in now. Because God revealed to me while I was out about today, well, actually a few days ago, but really got it in my mind today. As I'm working out that salvation, I said, okay, so that's it. It's official. That's part of our mission at Consulting for Height Awareness because it is part of trauma healing. Because overcoming triggers allows us to not be negatively affected by the radio frequency when they blast it out like they do. Because of the awareness of it. Now the autonomic nervous system will take a little while. If it has experienced any kind of physical attack, if you will. All right. So it might take a little while. That's in my case. Because before that incident. Okay, before that went down, I already knew about the radio frequency. I already knew a bunch of, I mean, the awareness about a lot of that is already there. Now it's just getting heightened even more because of that incident. Learning, okay, hold up a second. How is that responding to what? So I'm learning that, bring it to y'all. Because it's just all part of combating that radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. Okay, so I need to go ahead and let y'all know that you join our, okay, you can join our growing community of spiritual warriors for Christ. Welcome. It's another journey in God's reality and the spiritual awakening. And so we're going to bring y'all more basic scientific facts tried and true technique and more about all of that and how our bodies are manipulated by the narcissistic matrix on a daily basis but we learn to not allow it to be manipulated that's the key right there to trauma heal is learning within ourselves to not allow anything external to manipulate us on the internal because what's on the internal Bingo! The Godhead. All right, everybody. So we are at the one and a half hour mark again today. How about that? So there you go. We're going to leave it on that note. If any of y'all have any questions and you catch it on the replay and you drop those in the comments, I will get to those as soon as possible. All right. And uh, check in the chat to see if y'all got anything else. Okay. All right. Nope. Okay. We good. All right. No, I will bring you more. Absolutely. Okay, everybody. I am Michelle Dickey, your host for CHA. Let's just chat show streaming on the YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Trauma healing and spiritual growth occur with God's wisdom, basic scientific facts, tried and true techniques, and more here and at chaacademybtbw.com. The link to the academy is in the description below. Some of y'all may need to copy and paste the link to view what chaacademybtbw.com offers to help you level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.